Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about my autumn favourites. So these are just um, items and things and just anything that I've enjoyed um, during this season. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is a TV show that I've been watching on Prime and it's actually on Netflix as well. Um, and it's called Lucifer and it's actually really good. Um, the first time I watched it, I turned it off after the first like five minutes because I just wasn't really like watching it properly and I wasn't getting into it but I gave it another chance and I've actually really been enjoying it and I've been watching it on Prime and um, because the first three seasons I think three or four seasons are on Prime and then after that the newer ones are on Netflix so I haven't watched the, the Netflix ones yet so I haven't gotten that far um, but it is actually um, not what you would expect um and if you like Buffy the Vampire Slayer um and Charmed and and all of those kind of um TV shows then you'll probably like Lucifer so definitely check it out um so next I have um this eye spray here um and I've got really dry eyes because I have uh blepharitis and it's this one here and it's an Optrex um, eye spray and it's called the Acti Mist Double Action um, and it says it's for dry and irritated eyes and I saw this in an advert and I really wanted to try it and I'm happy that I did because it's actually really good. Um, so the bottle looks like this and you use this three or four times a day and it helps, really helps to soothe um, your dry irritated eyes. I got this off Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get it on, um, you can get it from Boots or Superdrug and places like that if you check online um, and other places as well. But I know that you can definitely get this from Amazon and I think it was like 10 or 11 pounds and the box looks like this. So that's what I've been really enjoying because it's really helped with my dry eyes. That's just the dishwasher being annoying in the background, that annoying noise. Um, and it's fast and long lasting relief um, and it says it's clinically proven as well so that's been really like helping me um, definitely from the first time that I used it I was like well super happy that it got this um, the next thing that I've been really enjoying is um, this coffee and it's an instant coffee from Beanies and it's the pumpkin spice one and I've wanted to try this for the longest time um, and got this from Aldi actually so it's only like two pounds something I think I didn't buy it um but my partner got it for me and um I'm so happy that I got it I've used so much of it already and I've only had it for about like less than a week and I've just been drinking it all the time because it just tastes really good it's like Starbucks in a cup without the sugar um so if you like all of the Starbucks type flavorings and you don't want to have anything sugary then definitely check this one out I think this is probably their best flavour and I've tried loads of the beanies flavours now um, but this one is definitely my favourite one so far. So now I have something to show you makeup wise that I've used quite a few times and I've been reaching for this quite a few times um, in the last couple of weeks and this is the um, Dream, Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation from Maybelline and it was actually a celebrity who had talked about this one and that's what made me try it um it's really good for dry skin i have just super dry skin and it just makes my skin look really flawless um i got this from amazon i think it was for six pounds something so it was really affordable as well and i got mine on offer mine is in the shade um fawn and the way i found out my shade was i used a website called foundation.com and you go onto the website and you pick you pick um foundations that you already have um by brand and color and then it matches what other foundations you will be um in different shades and different brands so it gives you an idea of what shade you're going to be in different um brands um and i had a look and a lot of like my other foundation colors that i've got came up as matches for me so it's pretty accurate I would say and um, based on the foundations that I already have and I tried this and it goes on really really smoothly I use this with a beauty blender 
and it's probably the best drugstore foundation that I have found for dry skin um, and it says that it is um, it says hydrating um, foundation and it says that it gives you um, some like plumpness in your skin and I think it has um, is it salicylic oh no not salicylic it has hydrochloric acid in it and collagen and they're meant to be like really good for your skin so I'm really happy that I got this and I would definitely buy this one again if I'm honest and it's the one that I've been reaching for the most um just like for when I want to put a little tiny bit of makeup on sometimes um just to even my skin tone out it isn't a it isn't a really um high coverage foundation it's quite light so it just gives you a bit of a coverage um you can layer it and you can add more on um and I sometimes use like two layers depending on how much redness I have um I don't have any foundation on today and my skin is like it's a little bit red in these areas still but it is looking a lot better than it was um so yeah so that's the Maybelline Dream Radiant Foundation um that you can get from Amazon um and then the last um thing that I want to show you is of course a perfume and it's this one here and it's called um it's Beyonce's Heat um Kissed perfume i have a few of the beyonce perfumes now but they're going to be in another video um but i wanted to tell you about this one because it's the one that i've been reaching for recently okay so it looks like this this is the bottle um and this one it smells i think this is probably my favorite beyonce one so far it's definitely reminds me of like a 90s um a 90s mom oh mom perfume um but it reminds me of um hypnotic poison by dior it's like a watered down version of that at a fraction of the price and recently on amazon prime day these were reduced to eight pound something i think some of them are 15 pound depending on which one you get this is a 100 ml bottle some of them are 15 some of them are 11.95 but this all of them were reduced to eight pounds something on that day so i picked this one up um and i'm super happy that i got it because it smells really really good it lasts for a couple of hours um and it just smells like the expensive dior hypnotic poison perfume to me and definitely reminds me of like a perfume from the 90s as well but it's like a really classic nice um deep dark perfume um, I will tell you what the notes are of this perfume as well. But it's like a rich, like a rich floral berry perfume to me. Um, these sort of perfumes were definitely really popular and expensive in the 90s. And a lot of people do say that it reminds them of the um, hypnotic poison. So if you want to get that and you don't want to pay the extortionate price that it is, um, and you're not crazy about it then get this one because it's just so similar to me um, really like in that family of perfumes um, so yeah so it's pretty affordable 100 ml bottle the only issue that I have with this is they don't spray too well like when you spray them they tend to I think it's the bottle design when you um, spray it there it tends to come out on here a lot um, so that's the only issue that I have with it. But other than that, I really, really like the Beyonce perfumes. Um, so that's what I've been reaching for this month. Um, so that's just what I wanted to share with you today in this video. Um, if you have any questions about anything in this video, any comments, then let me know below. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.